Man out in a public payment guys and that's the attitude you get from the company. What are you doing? It's not a very nice attitude guys, is it? So I'm guessing the uh, anti-terrorist squad are going to turn up soon guys. Anti-terrorist squad. Huh? <laughs> They're coming apparently. They're coming to get me. Oh, I'm not speaking today. English boy. Right. Image right. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm asking you what you're doing. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't think you know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. What are you doing? I thought you were asking me what I'm doing. You see? You're confused already, aren't you? No, no. You are? Image rights, he says, guys. Yeah, they're my rights. Once it's my image, it's mine to do with as I please, as I see fit, guys. Yo! Taking pictures of? Yeah. What are you taking pictures of? Have I got to answer you? Have I got to you tell you? You don't have to answer me, no, but I'm just asking out of politeness, that's all, because we are an Upper Tier Coleman site, so... Well, I've already had that from him. Well, do you know what an Upper Tier Coleman site is? It sounds like a load of bollocks to me. It's not a load of bollocks, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I think it is. Because I'm the kind of Coleman... Right, I'll tell you what, to. the first guy that came out, no, the second, no, the one, two, three, fourth guy that came out and spoke to me, 
Is that what you were saying what you were saying? Talking gibberish. I couldn't understand it. It's not gibberish. It's a, it's a regulation that we have to follow. It's called control of major accident hazards because we're a chemical yeah. site. He said there's lots of dangerous and hazardous chemicals all over here, this site. Yes? And then you let your staff stand five feet away from it all, smoking outside the gate. So they're not, they're not, they're not, they're four metres you're allowed. Four metres? Four metres from oh, the actual... Oh, is that government legislation? Yes. Is it? Yes. Right. It's irregulation. Dangerous but I was more than four metres rates. away from the chemicals with my dangerous camera. Yeah, it was over And they were still all away. shit in their panties. Sorry? <laughs> I said, they were still all shit in their panties and I was probably 40 metres no, away. No, what we have, to, what we, have, we, have a, we have a duty of care. Can I ask you a question? Are you... I'm, 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 I'm an health and you... safety manager for the company. Right, so you'll know what you're talking about. Then. He obviously didn't, the one who confronted me. Uh, you wouldn't know who the woman is up there with the black hair at the window, would you? I don't, I've got through from here. She's not giving the company a very good image. I've had this, I've had this, all sorts, all recorded. No need for it. I'm not harming anybody. She doesn't know who I am. She doesn't know what I'm doing. But to do that out of an office window to a member of public on a pavement is exactly. real. Yeah, that one's a very the window that's open. She had black hair. She was stood there for about five minutes giving all sorts of hand gestures. Totally unacceptable. You know? yeah, but you're obviously yeah, a big that's, that's totally... company that has government connections. That's not a good image no, of the company. I admit. We'll address that. Yeah. And I've had a bit of fun. I'm just a guy with a camera. I go out doing my daily vlogs. I'll tell you because you're being nice. Yeah. No, you know, you're being, a problem. I mean, everybody else that's come, they've had a little bit of an attitude. So when I get a bit of an attitude, I have a bit of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give them the answers they want, no. and I watch them getting angrier and angrier. Yeah. That's what I do. I test the boundaries. I test security. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm just a human being, and I'm approachable, and I, you could talk to me all day long, just like you are. Yeah. You know. And I'll chat to you. I'll tell you what I'm doing. You yeah. know. Uh, but all them round there, that's six or seven different staff I've had confrontation with. And I've had a bit of fun with them because yeah. they come out with the attitude that they've got some sort of power over me, you know, on a public no, road. Uh, I, I, it was brought to my attention because obviously from a coma point of view, which is control of major accident hazards, because of the stuff we have on site, yeah. we have, to, we have um, counter-terrorism police come every year to do an audit and a lot of it's about security. And if there's anybody in your site, around your site, you should approach them. Right. Um, yeah, so but you need to approach them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't right know how you attitude. approach. To be fair. <laughs> That'll be your boss telling you. That's my wife. Don't stop. That's, my boss. that's your boss. That's, <laughs> that's right. Real, that's your real boss. That's my real boss. <laughs> uh, yeah. So all's it worth. There's a lot of panic going on because there's somebody outside with a camera and we don't know who they are. And um, so obviously we have to ring the police and notify yeah. the police for that. Yeah. Um, and so they'll tell you. It's so and so, it's so and so. <laughs> right, so as long as we know about you doing that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I've been having a bit. Yeah, no worries, Phil. Cheer a bit. Were you his backup? No, he's, my, he's, he's one of our managers, he's the HR manager for the company. <laughs> Nobody's been concerned about me out here all on my own. I'm, I'm concerned, that's why you come and spot me. Ten different you. staff confronting me. But as long as you, I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not bothered what you're doing, it's just obviously we have to confront you. Because we are a former site. Yeah. And part of the regulations. Fair state, play, mister. Fair play. So Go I do apologise for any misdemeanours that you've had from people. People are different well, today. Well, um, they'll not do it again, I don't think. Social. social I think they'll have, uh, they'll have learned. Yeah. yeah. Once. So you're just doing it for interest? You just. I'm a YouTuber. Right, right, yeah. Uh, that's what I do. I just go around doing daily vlogs. Yeah. Sometimes I get good interactions. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes get I get lots of yeah. aggro, abuse. Sometimes I get arrested yeah. for just doing what I've done doing today. What you're doing today. Yeah, uh, it, you never well, know what the day is going to bring. It's a free country at the end of the day. It is, but um, what happens with a lot of places is people tell lies to the police. Yeah, just the real now. Oh, they're here now. Yeah. You know, if they know me, they'll not even stop. Probably. No. Yeah. A lot of times they don't even turn up. But I remember because you're a coma site. Yeah, that's that they will have to attend for being a coma uh, site. Is he the boss? Is that the... He's, he's one of the directors. Right. Oh, he told me he was the boss. Yeah, well, he is. He's, he's family owned it. He's well, one he's of one sons. of the ones who didn't like the answers right. that I wasn't yeah. giving him straight yeah. away. Nine, 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 which yeah. is unacceptable. You know. Yeah. And uh, 
See these guys, look, now they're hesitating. Who's getting out first? Because they know they're going to go on YouTube. Yeah. And he had the wrong attitude. Is that him? Yeah. So I've had a bit of fun with him. I've let rip yeah, him. I've ripped him in your arsehole, you know, for 999. And, because I could end up tasering them. Yeah. If they don't like my answers and they've got the wrong attitude and they don't behave right, I could end up tasered, handcuffed, slammed up for the night. <laughs> no. I'm not saying, I'm talking about possibilities on how people, why people phone the police, you know, and what could happen. No one can make me taser anyone. No, I'm saying I'm good. I'm a pacifist. I almost got tasered about three months ago for doing exactly this. Where was that? Blackpool. What were you doing? Exactly this. <laughs> Stood in public. You must have escalated a bit. No, no, no. It's, it's a long story, but... Yeah, I wasn't there, so I no. can't comment. What's your intentions when you're here? What are you here for? What am I here for? Yeah. Taking pictures in public. Oh. Anything. Yeah. We just we just raise concerns because we are a couple, as you know, we are a coma up at your site. Um, so we have a lot of interaction with the police. You didn't ring the police on me, it was him. In there, look, I'm sure it was. Yeah. Here's the culprit. That's one from within the building. In it's that big pushy there. There's well, no need to be saying names, though, is there? Well, there is. You weren't here the way he's treated me. So well, I'm being polite. What's he been doing? He's rang 999. For a man with a camera on a public pavement. You should be going and kicking him in the ass for wasting his time and making no. false reports. No, no we, we, have, we not, have to make the call though, don't we? Not 999, you don't. We didn't ring 999. No, it's not an emergency, a man with a camera. Is it? That's still going through. But is it? It's not an emergency, is right, it? Right, but it's still going through to the same place, isn't it? So no, it doesn't. It does. I used to work there. What code is it? 101 and 999 no, no, no. goes through to exactly the same people. Hello. Hi. It's a. 999 call, yeah. what grade? It just goes through to the same call. Yeah, what grade of 999? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What do you mean? Well, they have different grades, don't they? But no, the 999, when you're talking about calls. A 999 call yeah. comes in different levels. Yeah, it, no, 999, a, a call, whether you ring 999 or 101, goes through to the same people in the control room. The priority of it being answered might be different. It goes through to the same people. Yeah, but what grade? What's the same thing, and this has not been sent as an emergency, hence why we didn't activate any emergency equipment. It's been sent as a grade two priority for attendance within the hour. Yeah. You can ring that, trust me, I used to work there. Right, okay. As a call taker. Well, I didn't, so I can't argue yeah. with you. Yeah, so when a call gets answered, I've had 999 calls, people saying I bought a gram on Facebook and really dodgy. <laughs> I, so I, yeah. I don't so I doubt said, it. I don't doubt it. Can't be attempt at all. Yeah. Quite everywhere, not a police problem, goodbye, didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, But then on the other hand, I've had 101 calls people reporting that they think someone's been murdered next door. Right. And there has been a serious altercation, so that's been a okay. great one. So, yeah. you'll know what you're talking about then. I hope you? so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bloody hope so. <laughs> yeah. So what have they said to you? They've said that you're outside taking photographs of their site and they're concerned about why you're here because yeah. you're not willing to engage. And there's been oh, an I've argument. had plenty of engagement. And there's been an and argument been quite, and you're not willing to... Quite aggressive as well. You're not willing to No, what I do line. is people come out onto a public pavement, demand to know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and when I get confronted with that instant attitude, which I haven't received from either of you, or that gentleman there in the white shirt, out of ten people, he's been the only one who's right. come out quite normal. Hey, hey, pal, hey, can I ask what you're doing? You know, the others would demand them answers. Right, it's okay. Yeah? They're just Nine they different... Open. You can understand their concepts, right? No. No? No. Okay. Do you know what this place is? No. Nope. Couldn't care less what it is. Oh, right, okay. So it's the same you... as any other building to me. So why are you here? It's photographable from a public place. Why are you here? Taking photographs. Well, the Anything. That you don't know what it is. Yeah. Why, why are you not just leaving when they're being so hostile to you? You're saying that yeah. there'd be 10 people have been out. Because it makes better them. footage. The more hostility and stupidity I get from the staff, the better footage I get. What's the footage for? And then they'll learn not to do it next time to a member of the public. What's the footage for? Well, it's annoying. You're not asking. <laughs> you're not asking, you're fishing. I am. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you've dealt with police before. You understand. Yeah. We have to ask the questions. Ah, so you know who I am now? You just told me you nearly got tased by a black hole police officer right, yeah, yeah. before, haven't you? Yeah, well, yeah. Putting two and two together. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Mike. Mike. My name's Mark. Mark. Surname Mark. What's your surname? Bauer. Bauer. I don't give my surname. Fair enough. <laughs> it's only because obviously there has been reports that you've been quite hostile and you've sworn at people as well. No, I swore back at people. Right. So you're saying they swore at you first? Yeah. Right. Okay. So. 
Nobody's been harmed to you. Not yeah. unless you're the feelings, please. <laughs> well, yeah, there's more to it than that. that you don't have to just harm yourself. Well, I could say the same about them. You could, Dial yeah, in 999, right. as I was explaining to that gentleman when she turned up this officer. You know, if, if, there, if you're having a bad day, and there aren't, there's lots of bad police officers. Yeah, we know that. There's good and bad in every organisation, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, I could end up teasing. Just speak now. No, I'm not so saying you would have. Says, I'm saying that nobody, the possibility is nobody, there. You can't just assume that having any engagement with a police officer, there's always going to be a, a chance. Because if, you, if you're saying that you're the actual victim... I'm talking well, from a lot of experience here. I know, but you're saying that you're now saying that you're potentially a victim as opposed to... An no, no, I'm not a victim. Well, you no. just told me that they were swearing at you. Yes, but I'm not a snowflake. Right. <laughs> I'm very thick-skinned. Okay. I give as good as I get, right. and that's it. So why would I tease you? Just I'm saying, the poten in any situation where the police are called mm -hmm. by snowflakes like this, the potential is there for the photographer on a public pavement, yep. breaking the laws, to be handcuffed, battened, tasered, pepper sprayed. It's not being it's not at all. No, that's the wrong word, isn't it? What do, what do I have to comply with? Not being verbally abusive and answering our questions. Verbally abusive. Not being obstructive. I don't have to answer it. I don't even have to stand and speak to you guys. I know. Right. So why why would you say that then? I'm just saying that's a possibility of why someone might have to use force as the police. It's like day to day, isn't it? That we go to situations and it's not all that seems. So you can turn up to some incidents. Everything I've been to incidents where everything's been nice and calm. Yeah. And then literally 30 seconds before I turned up. There's a guy over there that's acting like a victim. He's actually been running around chasing people with a nine-inch machete. So the situation then changes. Doesn't yeah, 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 yeah. Of course so it does. We yeah. don't know what's Every going situation on. is yeah. different. So we always assess it but on what is happening when we get here, not what we've been told right. on the phone. I'll try it a different way yeah. of saying it. Yeah. You're the guys that turn up with all the weapons. Well, we just, yeah. it's just our kits every day. We don't, yeah, yeah. We don't choose it's what we bring to each job. Oh, got a weapon. What, pepper spray, taser, baton? Of course, you don't have to hold it as a I'm weapon. not allowed to carry them to defend myself, but you yeah, guys we are. Have a yeah, we have a lawful excuse. We're doing excuse an execution of our police and duties. But, but I, I'll citizens, yeah. I will, surely citizens yeah, should never, be allowed never to. Never drawn that, never drawn that, never drawn no. that. Well, you're the second female police officer to tell me that, yeah. and I'm pleased to hear it. Yeah. Good, well done. Yeah. But you can't say the same thing. I can actually. Go on then. I've never, never used that, never used that on a person anyway. And he doesn't have a taser. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, I don't not, have a taser because I'm not trained. Them. Do you get picked to get a taser or do you have to apply? It's a bit of both. A bit of both. Yeah, you, have to be addressed, yeah. you have to be assessed as being suitable by um, your inspector who yeah, yeah. goes to a higher rank officer. Do you, and, uh, do I have to say I want it because they can't force it on people. Can they not? No. Right. And then I've also then put my expression of interest in yeah. where I have to justify why I want one and why I think I'm suitable by giving examples of what I've done in my life. Yeah. So Can I ask you a question about it, Taser? Yeah. Like with the handcuffs, yeah? Handcuffing yeah. someone yeah. is 100% officer discretion. Yeah. yeah. Is it the same with the Taser, whether you draw it and use it or not? Yeah, no one can make me draw it. No, I don't, I'm not saying... How, how would it not... What I mean is, is, is there legislation where you go to certain categories of incidents no. where you're told by superiors Nobody can, straight away... No. It's, bring the it's taser the out. As, no. No. It's, it's all no, off the discretion. It's, if it's a job where there's like someone running around with a machete, something like that, yeah, you then we to... obviously know about it, yeah. and it will be at the forefront of our mind as yeah. opposed to going to a woman that's So you'll be prepared for it, yeah. yeah. But that's obviously a risk assessment that we do, yeah. and as part of me being assessed by supervision as being suitable yeah. to even, even apply to one course for yeah. saying that, they say I'm of the right problem. Mindset, you have to get uh, checked by the doctor as well. Yeah, you have to yeah. go through further medical certificate, further eyesight tests, yeah, yeah. Um, when you've done Hello! All that, oh, yeah. You're right. when, when you've done all that, you then go on your week's training course, which is a full assessment throughout all, and if you don't pass the assessment yeah. to the end, you don't get it. Well, a week's training? Yeah. You're teasing. Stressful week, because it's, yeah. it's, it's covered by the firearms legislation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you use it, it's quite a big use of force. So that's why they have these stipulations, so you've got to have a certain length of service to even be considered. So you, right. have to, you have to be out of your probation, which is two or three years. You look a bit wet behind the ears. How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. 33. Are you? Yeah. You don't look it. He looks about 19, doesn't he? Thank you. <laughs> that's a compliment, huh? Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's a compliment, <laughs> that, because my missus is 36 and still gets ID'd for cigarettes. 
Yeah. And she Very goes into the shop. If you don't buy cigarettes, you don't get ID. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> I've never been ID for cigarettes, but uh, then again, I've never bought them, so maybe that's why. Right. Right. So, right, guys, so you know what I'm about. I'm not here to you, harm anybody. How long are you planning on staying? I've only waited for you guys. Oh, so you wanting to leave? I was. <laughs> you didn't need but to then, leave. Need to wait for us. No, it all started at the far end, down this road at the dead end. Oh, That's where I first got confronted. And I was actually here. I was here on Friday. Uh, and I was filming the building down the end there that's all burnt out. We, we were just I've, I've never been down here. Yeah. So, I was doing a video about that building. Right. It's yeah. all burnt out, it's just a shell. And then the process of doing that, I noticed all these yodel tickets. Yeah. Thousands and thousands of yodel tickets right. stuffed in the bushes and bags everywhere. Yeah, thousands. Of them. So I brought it to the manager's attention. I went to yodel yeah. down there to bring yeah. it to the manager's attention. Yeah. Uh, somebody's been doing illegal fly tipping of his company rubbish. Yeah. You know, whether it's a company that he pays to dispose of his rubbish or if it's the drivers. Yeah. I just brought it to his attention. Uh, ended up getting loads of shit like I have done today. Yeah. So if we're trying to do the right thing. Uh, I think they filmed the police on Friday. I have no idea. I couldn't wait any longer. We went in on Friday. So we were, uh, we and that was it. I left. So I've come back here today. Yeah. Because I gave him the opportunity. You know, I threatened to send the footage to the council. To try and scare him to go and clean it up. You know? So it clearly didn't work because it's all still there. You know? Well, we don't get involved in fighting. No. It's council. It's council, isn't it? Yeah. But... So that's been, that's why I was here today, I was returning there to, as a follow-up video. So this building here? And I've had no interest in it, I've just been taking photographs of things as I've been walking down. Well, for, yeah, just maybe for future reference. No, when, no, no. When, when people no, are coming out no, and being no. quite defensive, it might be for a reason of what their business is. If you're not aware of what the business is... It doesn't really matter. No, but if it's a matter of their security, if they've got something on site, that they're concerned about. Yeah, they shouldn't let staff stand and smoke 10 feet away then, should they? Well, that's on that's on their, <laughs> wherever they want their staff well, to yeah. smoke. If it's safe for the staff to smoke there, then it's safe for the staff to smoke there. We're not saying that. That's what I mean, so it's safe for a man with a camera then, isn't it? No, but it's not that, is it? You, they're saying that through their training, the people outside with the camera, they can be seen as quite a dangerous person that might have ulterior motives yeah but no i mean suspect of uh, I'm, not, of I'm not trying to be rude to you but i've been confronted by eight members of staff who clearly don't have the authority yeah or the knowledge on how to come out and confront a member of the public well that, that's them on training issues uh, not teacher, the only one like i said was that gentleman here and he's the health and safety yeah. manager or boss he said you know? yeah, yeah but, so he knows what he's talking about but yeah? just try and take it on board if someone's coming out and being hostile and being like that and asking you to move on Maybe just try and ask the question, what's so special about it? Why can I not record it? And if they can give you a valid reason, oh, then I you do can move on that. that the first person that can talk to me down like that, that end. Today, well, it's all on here and it's all on here. Did it? Right, okay. One thing I never do in these situations is tell lies. I'm yeah. not saying you are, I'm just saying I didn't get The told. first person who came out in front of me, yeah, yeah, demanded to know why I was taking pictures. Right. And that was when I was on my way over to the Rio building. So I was trying to be polite with her, I said, look, I'm busy working here, blah, 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 she wouldn't let it go, she kept shouting, what are you doing, taking pictures of our building. So then I asked her a question, yeah? She was demanding answers from me, because I wouldn't give her the answers. Yeah. When I asked her a question back, I was being facetious. The issue that we've got for them is they will have had a lot of training, not on how to... No. These people no, no, have no, zero no, 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 training. No, no. We, we, let, we let you talk. Yeah. We have some decency on both sides. You're go expecting on. us to be reasonable with you, and yet you want to interrupt me. It's not fair, is it, really? Right, go on. So they will probably have had. I feel like minimal, I've just been told off by yeah. mum. Yeah. Minimal training on possibly how to engage with someone that's outside. Yeah. But they will have probably had a lot of training and drilled into them as part of an induction and as a regular thing about counter terrorism. Right. Because this is a site. That will have counter terrorism visits. Oh, yeah, I've been threatened with them yeah. twice. So, already. think of it from their <laughs> point of view. If they've not had training on how to engage with you, but they've had a lot of training on counter terrorism, they're not going to, their priority of what they want to sort out, your feelings over potentially the site being at risk and lives being at risk. Yeah. Which one is going to be the main priority? It's going to be lives at risk over your feelings, isn't it? You lives at risk for a camera. 
Yeah. And a man with a dangerous camera. Well, they don't camera. know that until you engage with you. It's a camera. What? It's, not it's, it's a da camera. camera. You stand in there. It's a very dangerous tool. It's, it's yeah. not the camera, right. is it? It's the fact it's that what? you've got footage. It might, have job. it might be who you're sharing them images with. This thing has yeah. caught lots of things they shouldn't have caught. Right. So you're admitting that that could be dangerous then, which is why they've been potentially... Yeah. From snowflake point of view, yeah, and people, corrupt people. Snowflake. And no. people that are dealing with something where they have a counter-terrorism issue, for what is inside yes, that building... Yes, but... Yeah? I take on board what you're saying, but the fact that this has counter-terrorism connections is bollocks and it's nothing to do with my human rights. Yeah, but they don't, they don't know your intentions until they speak to you. Do they? Because someone taking photographs of the site that has to get counter terrorism visits. Right. Yeah, that's Well, what they need to hide it, don't they? If it's such a big risky site, hide it. <laughs> well, it's not exactly on view, is it? It's not in the middle of Preston Town Centre. You can understand why they might be a bit twitchy unless they know you're in Twitchy is the right one, just yeah? said, yeah. Yeah. But you're, say you're only willing to Excuse have me, your mate. viewpoint. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not willing to engage and accept that they might have a different viewpoint. Oh, I engage fully. That, that, that camera could be very dangerous in the wrong hands if one no, is. No, 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 it's very dangerous for yeah. corrupt people. But it could be very dangerous in a corrupt person's hands, could it not? Yeah. And they don't know you're not corrupt, do they? No. Because you're not willing to provide us your details, so we can't check you through PNC to reassure them that you haven't got any markers for being corrupt. So we, can't, we can't even offer them reassurance. What are you taking a photo of now? Details. What you're recording now then? Anything I want. <laughs> I'm just wondering, because obviously you talked about human rights and people's privacy, you, you're obviously taking recordings of things for no reason, people's cars and people getting in the cars. Yeah. So what's your reasoning for that? Are you recording? I'm not right now, no. Yeah. Are you recording? I didn't see a need to. Mm -hmm. Unless I was going to search you for any reason or any other reason for me to feel like this needs to be recorded, I would switch it off, but I'd tell you Fair play, it. fair enough, yeah. I'd tell you that I'm recording. So we can establish I'm not a threat to anybody. Well, we can't, we we can't, defin we can't yeah. definitely rule that out. Because you're <laughs> you're wrong wrong on guys. You know what I'm if about. you're willing to provide your surname and date of birth. Just give my name when... What's your full alter name? the fact if I'm a threat or not. What's Could your it? full name then? If we can have your name and surname, and we and can, we can run just do through a the national quick check and local systems, and if you've got no intel, we can reassure them and categorically say we're pretty sure there's no risk. But at the moment... But that's not why you're here. You're not here to reassure these... Yes. No, we are. These companies. Yeah. That's what we're here. No, you're not. That's yes. not a police. That's not well, a police why are we here? job. Let's have a chat with you. You're here. Yeah. You're here to find out my details. Yeah. Find out. Attempt and to find sure out what I'm doing. Not, yeah. For what? For what? what, what, what who do you work for? The people or the corporations? Queen. Right. So who who are you here to protect? The public or the corporations? Anybody that needs protection. No. 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 No, no, it's the wrong answer, that. So, corporations not need... What do you do for a living? Police What do you do for a living? Police officer. Right. Both wrong answers, yeah? Your answer should have been protect the public. Your answer should have been protect the well, public. That's what our yeah? job role is. Only three police officers out of probably 500 I've spoken to have given me the right answer. There is no right answer. There is. My, my job Your is job is to protect the public. My job is police officer. Well, on my paper, it says my name. What does it say in your contract? Right. Please come to me. Right. What does it say your job description is? Yeah, that's different. My yeah. job is police officer, my job description, my job role no, is different. Police officer is your job title. Yeah. You no, said, it's... what's our job? Yeah. I beg your What's that? I, didn't... I said, what do you do for a living? Right, yeah, so I am a police officer. So I'm a police officer right? for a living, yeah. No. What do you do for a living? I'm a YouTuber. Just a Slash. Over. We're finding more and more in general that the police are like the uh, personal bodyguards and security for corporations. Okay. Our, our vast majority of our work is protecting people from other people. That's, yeah. that's the vast majority of our job. Yeah. As response officers, which me and my colleague are, we go to anything and everything. Yeah. Yeah, we're the jack of all trades. Right. Yeah, so wherever we go to, Sort of. Yeah, but why would you be concerned about the feelings of the people it's not, it's in here? Feelings we're, not about about the people. we're not worried about the people. It's you just said you need to go in and reassure them. Of yeah. course, it's, it's feelings. Let them know that you're not, you don't have any malice. Yeah. You're not here to cause them any problems. Yeah. Yeah? What you have to bear in mind is that I've been walking away from this building for about the last hour. Why is it you've not left? Because I got confronted it. 
One gate way down at the end. We just ignored them and walked off. We won't have had to worry about the other night. We've not been listening to what I say, have we? Yes, we have. I haven't approached anybody. Yeah? No, we, uh, I've been approached as I've been walking from this dead end road. As I've been walking to where I am now, yeah. I've had various members of staff come out of various gates yeah. demanding to know what I'm doing. Yeah, and you yeah. could have ignored them. Could they could have ignored me. Just kept they could have down. ignored me. Why, why, can't, why doesn't the door because swing both ways? This. We've explained this. You've got a camera. But just because you've explained it, it doesn't mean it's right, Sonny. I'm not saying does it's it? right. I'm just giving you what their point of view is. I'm just coming from I'm their... I'm not interested angle. in their point of view. That's right, the problem, well, that's, isn't it? We're never, your... never, we're never going to get anywhere because you're not willing to provide your details. We'll get somewhere yeah, when you start... You're not willing to see their viewpoint. We're seeing it Coming we're, up we're to 999, involved. false calls. It doesn't matter what, whether it's right. 999 or 101 or an online report. I've been to a job where someone has nearly been killed and it's been reported online. How it's been reported, it's got enough fault to do with how the police responders trust me. Like I said, I worked in oh, the yeah, police control Oh yeah, we've already had this conversation. Yeah. I've worked in the police control room. Either way, they're a bunch of snowflakes. I couldn't yeah. care less about right. their feelings. So if you'd just walked away, you wouldn't have had to come up. If they'd have just not bothered approaching me. But they have a duty in their line of work. No, they don't. To no, they don't. No. I bet they're not even insured out on a public road. That's not a master that we're going to get from. Are you going to get from? I might do. I might just you stay around. You said you wanted to leave an hour ago. Yeah, but I've missed the way I've got to go. Waiting for you guys. So, right. You need to leave. Just give you a good No, I waited out of decency. It's not out of decency. Of course it is. Right. What? So, because if, if you had a right. stage, they would have rang us back and right. left. My choice, how yeah. long I stay. I risk assessing. Right. So, you, so you, you feel you... like having a break, yeah? No. <laughs> I'm going to break. <laughs> so is, that, is that your car? No. Nope. Right. Come on, stop fishing, will you? No, no, I'm not fishing. I'm just checking out your guy, that's all. I know you said you was on your way off. You were uh, going to leave, or, and then you decided that you might not. I'm just double checking how you're getting off when you leave. Have you driven, basically? You don't have to tell me which car is yours or where you parked. I'm just asking. Well, I don't have to tell you whether I've like, driven or not. That's all I'm just trying to be polite. Oh. Guys. So what's your intention now then? I'm, I'm going now. I'm going. You're off. But you have to leave before me. I have to leave before you. Yeah, yeah. Well, well Why is as, that? We, as we just explained to you multiple times, our decision where we where we will be deployed to as the police, we decide where we go. Yeah. And as police officers, we also have the ability to make our own assessments as to where we are required. Yeah. So we can stay there as long as we want. Or well, that doesn't look good with the taxpayers. What? Oh, you see what I've been about snowflakes, yeah? He doesn't even know I my camera's on. He's been nice and asked he's to just turn the camera on. Yeah, but he's just been a snowflake, isn't he? Right. But can you... well, what about their cameras, the CCTV cameras? Right, you yeah, got to get them switched off as well, yeah? Yeah? It's on their private land, isn't it? What? Have you got, have you got kids? Yes. Yeah. Some people don't want their kids on the platform. So if you're on you, if they might, he might not want his kid on YouTube. There could be anything. There could be safety concerns. He could be in anyone. Worst case scenario, he could be in high witness protection and can't be seen on YouTube. He's Someone just a snake. Okay. You don't know that. I do. <laughs> I meet them every day. How do you absolutely 100 percent know that that kid won't be at risk if you film and put him on YouTube? You don't need. It's I'm a one stood in a talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's one in a million. I'm stood talking to two police officers. Yeah. yeah. So. For him to say that, he's implying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. In his that mind, no, that's what he could be thinking, yeah? No. I didn't say he said it, I said in his mind. Right. I've got a yeah? kid. If I see someone recording, I'd ask them to. I could. It's the morality of it that you have to question. Yeah. But there's a man, you see the back? Right. And asked you nicely. Right. Oh, I'm getting annoyed with this conversation. I'm stood talking to police, police officers, yeah? Guys walking down the road. Yeah. Not interacting with him, not pointing the camera at him, nothing. Right? It's pointing there. Right? Yeah? And he crossed over into the line of my camera, yeah? What, so walked on the one foot path? He walked down that side, yes, and crossed over where the car is. Well, it's quite reasonable to want his child to walk on a footpath, isn't it? Why did he walk it all the way down there then? And then he sees a man with a camera and crosses over in, into the view of the... He's full of shit, for fuck's sake, man. Do you understand what guys like us go through? Do you understand what guys like us have to go through? He's just implied I'm some sort of pedo who might be filming his kids. 
I get it every day. I've got it from these guys for fuck's sake. Right, why, why would they be inviting You guys need to go, you get me there's, angry. There's no Just go, down. period. You, you get me angry. Yes, I can. Right, we'll start using a bit of that. Start protecting the snowflakes. Well, if you stop go, driving. go, the period. Are you off now, Mark? None of your business. Get in your car and bugger off. You see, guys, you had the opportunity there to say to that guy, Oh, he's not filming your kids, he's talking to us about something. But yeah, effing didn't. I did. You're just as bad as all them snowflakes. There he is. I did say that to Mark. Mark, I didn't say that to you. I didn't hear you. I did say that to you. I said he's not Did you? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Right, well in that case I apologise. Right. But I'll check. Check all you want. <laughs> well, we won't be with you anymore anyway, won't we? We've been just told we must leave this public street. You're trying to enforce the rules. What you've got, we can't do to you. You're telling us we must leave off a public road in public public. Are you really going to force me to have this conversation? Well, I'm just saying there's two sides to every story. Yes, we're but not you, work, our side, are we? you work for the taxpayers. We work for You're the Queen. accountable to the taxpayers. We work for the Queen. No, you don't. Do. Don't get me started on her either. Why would you want to work for that? She's the money, isn't she? That's what it is. Do you know how much of your tax money goes to that woman? I don't really care, to be honest. Well, you should care. Why? Is it going to change anything if I know I'm... Well, it will if enough of you stand up, yeah. Enough of yeah. who? Police or everyone? The Queen. Right. How much taxpayers' money goes yeah, to that woman? Say, if the richest you... woman in the country yeah, but when you say is on benefits. Mark, but you said, wait, enough of you, is that as... People! Right. People. Are you not involved in that group? Yes. So why did you say us not, not you? Right. Well, us. There's not enough of us to stand up. That's what's wrong with this country. Right. Sincere apology, Michael. I said it to reassure him because he was genuinely concerned. That he, was he wasn't me. Really. He wasn't. I don't know. I watched him was. walk all the way down on the grass beds. Yeah, I don't know whether he was. And then I, when he spotted the camera, he didn't know what it was or what yeah. was going on. In so he's decided to cross over into the view of the camera. What everyone sees all over social media and the media, everybody now jumps to worst case scenario, don't they? Yeah. Everyone Tell goes me about to it. Work, yeah, exactly. Which is what they've done, which you don't like, he's done. I'm no, not, no, I don't like the fact then, that they've 999 right, for the police. you've also done the same because you've jumped to the conclusion with a little bit of information that him asking for his child not to be filmed means that you're a paedophile. That's a bit of a jump to a conclusion. No, isn't it? that's... It you it know, is. come on. You know. Why would he say it if he wasn't thinking it? I don't want anyone filming my nieces and nephews, but doesn't mean I think you're a paedophile. Yeah, if somebody's coming around deliberately filming your kids in a playground or, or a park, you've got a concern. Well, no, but for a man standing think. talking to two police officers... No, but then you are going to think that they're probably some sort of deviant, aren't you? But what we're getting at, what Jen said earlier, is at the end of the day, he probably doesn't want any footage of his son on YouTube or anything like that. I think more like he probably just wanted to be on camera, I think. Yeah. Why walk into the line of a camera? Well, we don't know his intentions, yeah. do we? We're going around in circles now. When the video goes out... You'll see him walking all the way down I'm not, there. I'm not going to be watching the video. I won't. Yeah, I have <laughs> time, I've got, I've got much better things to be doing than watching time. trolling through YouTube trying to find a video by a Nine times out of ten, when I get these confrontations mm -hmm. on a public road, mm -hmm. they'll 999 the police. Yeah. Uh, the police will tell them who it is, and they won't come. Well, there's, there's more than one auditor in the northwest of England, isn't there? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking from my experiences. I'm talking from my experiences. Sometimes they turn up. Sometimes, they, a lot of the time, they don't. Yeah. And then a lot of the time, they'll come yeah, wherever I am. They'll come out and they'll say my my if, my. if you're just filming outside of a normal building, like an office building, for yeah. someone that makes drums 
for school kids. Yeah. No one's going to, they're quite pleased with that because there's no risk with if you did have malice in your intentions. Yeah? Because what are you going to do? You're going to break in and you might. Where's he gone? For a piss or something? I don't know. I haven't got a truck running. <laughs> but the issue is, because of what the nature of this building is, that's why we've deployed. Not because of your actions, because of if it is got some bad intentions. Yeah. Yes, but it, it doesn't. Hits the fan, it hits a lot I understand why you're yeah. here. I get yeah. it why you're here. I just don't agree with police officers pandering to snowflakes. I'm not pandering to snowflakes. You know? We're pandering to public concerns. They aren't public. Concerns. They're in work. I'm public. Yeah, not them. They're in work. There's still members of the public. There's still people in there, aren't there? They don't. Like, I don't lose my identity as being my name's Jen when I put my police officer uniform. When I walk into Leyland Police Station, I don't stop being a human. They don't stop being a human when they walk into that, into that building, do they? No. Right. But the, the word public people. is important, is it not? But they are still people. Yes, they're people. Yeah. Who will have genuine concerns potentially for their own safety and might not give a crap about the business. Yeah, like I said, you. if they've got something in We there, could have this conversation. Don't about, I, yeah. I reckon we could stand here all night and have this. We just have to disagree. We just have to agree to disagree. We are going to have to disagree, which I assume is what happens to the previous 500 officers that you've spoken to. (laughs) No, I've spoken to a lot of good officers, a lot, a hell of a lot. You said you've spoken to about 500, and all three of us know. I've asked about 500 officers that question. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do for a living? And only three have given. In my opinion, I'm not saying it, it is the right answer, but in my in opinion, your opinion, in my opinion, right, yeah, well, that's the correct right answer. Respect, you're here I, to serve the I, public. I, to be yeah. honest, your opinion of what I do for a job isn't that high on my priorities. But it should be. Why? I'm a member of the public. Right, but one person doesn't make my opinion different. But I could be a million people. Thousand, right? But you're not, you're one. Right. You tell me that. We're I'm all one. Yeah. Each individual, every person is one person. All right, but he also told me the same answer as a police officer, so I'll value his opinion just as much as yours. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet you never win the argument in the car, do you? I don't try, mate. Alright. So, are we ready? Right? Have we told them that you're not going to do Yeah, that's it. Right. Just let them know that you're not a threat, not to worry about you. You know, if I come back here tomorrow, they'll do the same again. No, they probably won't, because they understand that you're not a threat, you're not here in under malicious terms, you're not here for any sort of very, very serious, serious reason. It could be detrimental to thousands of people. Just, YouTube videos, isn't it? just yeah. Well, it's been detrimental to the field as well. Right, Mark. Right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, lad. See you later. And he's still a pussy. Come on! Come on! (laughs) Right guys, what do you think of that? Police have gone, they've either gone or they've gone in the car park. So, snowflakes guys, snowflakes. Anyway guys, I'll leave it there. (laughs) I think that's the boss. One of the directors there, guys.